right, welcome everybody. Welcome to the studio this evening. And I'm going to paint this cute little guy over here. I got a terrible print out of it here, but uh, this is what we're going to paint tonight. This is a red strawberry poison dart frog. I love the colors that he has. This beautiful orangey red over here. Beautiful orangey red, the nice black spots. Beautiful looking frog. All right, but before we get to the painting, uh, I just want to go through, don't look at this, I just want to go through some of the colors I put together that I thought maybe uh, I could use in here. So uh, I've got a, I've got a Hansa yellow, cold yellow, gamboge, a warm yellow, and azo orange here. And then I mix these with pyrrole red, which I have on my palette to see how they would mix as a darker orange. And then down here, I did alizarin crimson and Hansa yellow to see what that did, and alizarin crimson and Hansa, or I, and, I'm sorry, and gamboge to see what that would do, to see what kind of an orange we would get. Um, I really like, I like this orange here, alizarin crimson and Hansa yellow, and this pyrrol red and gamboge. This is probably the one I'm going to stick with right here uh, to paint him. Let's get that out of the way too. Here is my drawing i know it's very it's very light probably a little hard to see as soon as we start getting some color on the page here uh we'll take care of that i'm going to grab a brush here actually i'm going to do quite a, a a big puddle here some of my gamboge let's put it over here let's get that wet a nice puddle of gamboge I'm going to start with uh, start with the lighter of the two colors, the yellow. Put it over there, clean my brush, and get into our pyrrol red, which I have here. Andrea, you made it! Fantastic! <laughs> welcome! Welcome, welcome! Great to have you here. And I'm going to take my puddle of water here. My puddle of paint, not my puddle of water. What am I talking about? Maybe mix up a little bit more. Oh, that's a wonderful color. Wonderful color. I love that. And I'm going to give the body, his body, a nice coating of this paint. This is nice. It's a beautiful, makes a beautiful orange. I've mixed it all on my palette. It's pretty mixed up there. If you wanted to have a little bit more variation in your frog you could you know maybe not quite mix it so much and let it uh, mix a little bit more on your paper and i guess you should talk about the paper that i'm using right now this is fabriano studio cold press uh, i'm sorry hot press paper i guess i don't need to be super careful going around his eye there his eye's going to be black so if we go over top of that that's not that big of a deal I just want to get some color on his body here, first of all. Uh, so the paper that I'm using is this uh, Fabriano Studio hot press paper. I don't, I think I said it last week, I'm not the biggest fan of hot press paper, but I'm trying to like it. I have, I have quite a bit of it, a giant pack of it. So I'm using it, I'm trying to, to like it. Uh, Dana's here. Glad to see you back on Wednesday. I'm glad to be back on Wednesday. I, I truly am. It feels so good to be back. I say it feels good to be back. It does feel good to be back. However, this Wednesday, if I get a little dreary towards the, a uh, little droopy towards the end of the broadcast, uh, it's because for whatever reason my body told me this morning it wanted to wake up at about 4.30 this morning. And... That's about an hour and a half before I normally get up, and there was no going back to sleep for me. So uh, I'm pushing into some time where I'm kind of getting a little goofy, maybe tired. But we're gonna we're gonna push on through. Uh, this guy's got a little white on his belly down here. We'll I'm gonna put a little color on that uh, eventually. But to start with, I just want to get some color on his body here. I'm going to worry about his legs in a minute. I just want to worry about his body at the moment. And uh, one thing I have to do, I've found out, 
probably everybody has to do, but we've got some pretty dry temperatures here where I live, so that may make things a little worse, is I've really got to work quickly in any one area with this hot pressed paper, or it dries and I get a tide line, and I probably don't always want a tide line. So I've really got to be careful and watch that. I'm actually going to mix quite a big uh, mix of this color here because I'm going to be using it more and more. See, I was going to use, I'm using Gamboge here. Just like every other Wednesday. If anybody has any questions, we're getting a few viewers coming in here. If we got uh, any questions, throw them out there. I'd love to uh, answer questions about what I'm doing, about art in general, about life in general. Happy to talk about anything. If, if anybody's out there and they want to see the reference photo, that one that they want to download on their own, uh, I've got it on my Discord channel. You can just go ahead and go out and grab that. Uh, let's see. I'm also, while I'm waiting here, I'm going to mix up. Uh, I, need a, I need a gray kind of for his belly. I'm going to get a little Payne's gray, and I'm just going to warm that up ever so slightly with a little bit of this burnt umber. That's going to be my gray that I'm going to use. I don't want it to be a really cold gray. A nice warm gray is good. And I'm going to, I'm going to put that on some of his feet, actually. I think it's going to be light enough that I can, I can begin to put this on his feet. Well, that might, that might be a little too dark. I can begin to put this on his feet, and it's going to, it's going to dry and lighten a bit, and I won't have to worry too much about a tide line here. So let's go ahead and do this. This goes quite a bit up his fingers. Are these fingers or toes? Do, do frogs have hands and feet, or do they just have feet? I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. I think they have hands and feet. Where's my reference photo? Hold on one second. I have to click to, <laughs> I have to click to change screen a little bit so I can see where my reference photo is. I'm gonna pull that down a little bit. He's this got some white on his fingers. Now a lot of this is gonna be covered up with some some black that's gonna go, some black banding. So I don't have to worry too much about it. But I'm gonna I'm only gonna put a little shadow underneath him tonight so when uh, I do that I, I don't want his skin to be so stark white I want it to be a, just a little bit tinted so that's why I'm putting this gray on here a little more come on let's get a, just a little, a little bit more of that a little bit of extra water there I hope everybody is having a good week this week. I hope 2021 is is treating everybody a lot better than 2020 did. We're all getting back to normal, thankfully. So that's good for all of us. I'm working longer days at my job, my actual work job. Instead of working from home, I'm working at work. That for me is how I know everything is getting back to normal because <laughs> I'm I'm there a lot more instead of here. Still doing all the same work. Just one's on location and one is well, they're both on location. One of the locations just happens to be my house though. Anyways, we all know what that's like. I'm sure. Oh, let's see. This goes over there. I don't know if you can see it. I've just kind of drawn in so very lightly where some of these colors might go. And again, this is the the it's so light under there. I don't think it's going to matter all that much. Okay. I'm actually, this This is a little big. This is a little bigger than I wanted, so I'm going to put that brush back, and I'm going to step down a size. 
This brush is a size six and he's already dry up here. Believe it or not, this guy's already dried up. So I'm gonna come back up here and I'm gonna start to look to see. I'm not even worried about the dark color yet. I'm not even worried about the black that's on there yet, but I wanna come and see where where I can start to add some dark colors on him right in here. And then as I like to do, before I can let this dry, I'm going to blend this edge out. I want a nice soft edge on this. So I've got to blend it out because I know with this paper, it's really going to dry quickly and leave that hard edge there. And I don't, I really don't want that. Let's see some dark here that comes right up to his nose, the tip of his nose. I'm just going to take it down around his eye this whole way like this. I'm just trying to build up some of this color. He's got some that comes in here. Something like this. Andrea, you're painting this along with me, right? Didn't you say you were going to paint with me? You normally do, I think. Are you using this photo or are you using one of your own? All right, I got, uh, now I can come down to his belly down here, way down here and start adding some darker colors. I've, I, I'm purposely doing this a bit light. I've kind of, I've kind of tried to step back with putting on colors in such a, 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 a heavy fashion and tried to really try to uh, put them on lighter and lighter. And if I need to go back and put two, three, layers on instead of one or two you know just add an extra layer then i'm i'm trying to teach myself well it's not really a teach myself it's trying to convince myself uh that that i can do i can give myself permission to do that and it's okay when you say yes you are my uh yours at mine's it's mine's great <laughs> mine's great mine's just getting started i don't know if he's great yet He's going to be there. At least I hope he's going to be there. We're going to find out all together how good he looks. And I think I can do this in a reasonable amount of time, to tell you the truth. The other thing I want to do by putting it on light is I can do all of it at a lighter a tone, right? a lighter intensity. And then if I have to go back and, and glaze over it and give everything a little bit more color, uh, I can do that. I have that option. That's something that's, you know, pretty easy to do. I, I do notice, and I'm trying not to let it bother me, that I get a couple of hard lines in here, hard edges, uh, with this paper, no matter what I do. And uh, I've had some happy uh, things come about because of that. So I'm not, uh, I'm, I'm trying not to worry about it too much. <laughs> I'm trying to let it do what it wants to do. Uh, oh, my photo. My photo is great. You're painting it from my photo, which is great. I got it. I'm a, you don't have to tell me too many times. Just, you know, a dozen or so. I'll eventually get it. Eventually, I'll get it. All right, I'm going to come back in and paint his hand back here. I'm going to call it his hand. I don't know if it's a hand or a foot. And it's a this, this mix is now a little bit more yellow, and, and I'm totally fine with that. They don't need to be exactly the same color over here, and I don't really want it the same intensity anyways because that's going to be back a little bit, so that should lighten up just a little bit and maybe if I can I can 
put in a couple of lines here. He's got some highlights on his hands there, something like that. I think that's going to work out really nicely back there. Um, and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to do his back leg back here. And then we're going to start adding in a little bit of the blacks, the, the, the dark spots. They're not going to be that dark to start with, but they're going to get there. And I'm doing it this way because if I look at the photo, uh, he's got he's got these lines right where his uh, legs meet his body and where his arms meet his body. I don't know why it's like that, but he's got those lines there. And so I thought that's a nice, easy place for us to paint to. Uh, and it gives us a nice bounded field we can paint in right here. So we don't have to go over it. We don't have to worry about painting his whole body all at once. We can break this up into a few smaller bits and do it. And, and by doing that, it might make it a little bit easier for us uh, to do our painting. In fact, when I drew it, I even drew in uh, the lines where his where his legs connect to his body and where his arms connect, uh, just so I made sure I had that in there. There we go. Okay, so there's his back leg done. Not the darkest. That's okay. I'm, again, I'm not I'm not worried about that yet. In a nice orangey mixture here, I'm gonna get his front leg right now just looking to see if all of this is orange i guess i can paint it all orange it's up to me i'm just do i'm not trying to make it look exactly like that frog i'm trying to do my interpretation of that frog and it just occurred to me well he's pretty this is, this is a strawberry poison dart frog but he's awfully orange are oh you drew the lines too oh good deal Good deal. I guess some straw strawberries are pretty orange, aren't they? I got a little hair right there. You could paint strawberries orange, I suppose. They're not all like super, super red. Let's see what's where do I go all the way down here? Now this is the first layer on his on his arm here, so it's going to look a little just blah for the moment. But once we once we get that second layer on there, he's really going to start to take shape. That's kind of how it works. It's kind of like magic. You just want to get a layer of color down there, and and quite honestly, paint is so weird. We didn't even need to paint him uh, reddish, orangish, this color. We could have painted him any color within the warm color family as a base coat, and we could have made it work. But I, but I, I'm, I'm going to stick with this color, and uh, it's going to come out for us. It's going to work for us. Get this back leg. This back leg looks like a grasshopper leg to me. I don't know why, but it does kind of look like a grasshopper leg back there. All right, let's take a look at him. Do we need to darken up over here again? Yeah, we kind of do, don't we? Let's see if we can get a little bit more intensity in our red before we move on. Less water on my brush, more color. And we've got this we've got this whole area right in here. Comes down right like that. It's a bit darker. This guy's gonna be fun to, to finish up. So he's got this this is like a it's like a Halloween color almost. 
but it's so nice and warm. It's such a such a good color to look at. I really like this color. These two together, this pyrrole red and gamboge. I think it looks wonderful together. And I'm just going to take and blend this out. I'm actually going to see how far I can blend that maybe. It doesn't look like that far. It doesn't look like it's that far. And I've got to keep my brush just damp enough to be able to tease that edge a little bit. But not so damp that I start to put color back or put water back into the painting. That would that would kind of be bad. Got a little bit here. Let's give it that little bit back on his on the top of his eye there. Trying to keep roughly the same color. I don't. I'm not worried about it being exactly the same color of orange. If some place has a little bit more red, if some place has a little bit more yellow. I'm totally fine with that. The color isn't the most important thing about the painting, anyways. I know we're. We're painting in color, and I'm saying the color is not that important. The color is important because it invades the warmth and, and general look and feel of it, but the value of the colors is way important. There we go. Here's a little spot on his head there. He's kind of got, um, I don't know, some little dark area there. I'm going to... I'm going to put this on back here, down here on his stomach, too. Make this a little darker. And, and again, this I'm, I'm trying to go lighter and more layers. It gives you a little bit more control as we do it. And uh, in theory, <laughs> in theory... Then we can make this look kind of like whatever we want to by putting more colors here and more colors there. What it will allow me to do, I see he's got like a, a little something here, right? It's going to allow me to put this little bit of color right there. If I can blend these sides out, that's kind of like where his hip is. I can do that, and I'm looking at... <laughs> I'm looking at it. There's a big fingerprint right in it. I must have, I must have had some kind of um, something on my finger when I touched it. A little bit of grease on my finger when I was drawing it, or something. It's kind of funny to see a, a little fingerprint in there. All right, all right. And if he gets a little mottled, I'm I'm totally fine with that. In the end, after a number of layers, it's gonna be it's gonna be fine. We're not gonna notice. Our eye won't be drawn straight to that. I guess is what I'm trying to say. I'm gonna give him a little bit more right right back here on his back. Maybe pull that down a little bit like that. Let's see how that looks. And when putting on a light layer like this, if I want to just pull that off, I can just totally pull all of that color off. It's so light on there. Or I can push it around as much as I want to. As long as I keep just the end of my brush, just that little bit damp. And then right back here, kind of on his behind back here, I'm going to put a little dark. Here, maybe that goes around the leg a little bit. I can't tell on the reference photo, but it's going to be on here. Everybody's a little quiet tonight. I don't know if everybody's watching me or if they're watching the frog or they're doing something else. <laughs> I don't know. Mm. 
All right, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna add a little. Oh, I got another fingerprint back here. I'm gonna add a little bit of dark back here. I'm gonna leave the the orange in front a little bit lighter. Maybe there's a little extra light on his back right there. And then I'll make this side of his leg just that little bit darker in there. A nice light layer. Get it in there. I got a little bit of extra red on there. There we go. We just move that around. As long as we're keeping it wet, we can kind of move that wherever we want it to go to. Uh, let's see. What do we have here? I'm going to I'm gonna jump to his arm here. And I know I, I've kind of got it so the light is coming from here up this way. So that I know his arm on this side should be in shadow. I'm going to put some of this dark over here. And a little over here. And maybe some down here. And let's see what that looks like when we're done with it. I need to get just, I need to get some up here too. I can tell, I can tell. That goes just underneath his, his body. So there's probably a little bit of, I don't know, not a big shadow there, but a little bit of a shadow there. Under his foot, on the back side over here, there's something. I don't even know if I'm gonna mess with these. Maybe I'll just let the let the water take that away. And definitely, definitely, I'm gonna use up all my gamboge on this guy. Definitely over here. He's got some darkness on this side of his leg. Let's see, dark here. A little bit lighter over there. All that dark all the way around his knee. And up kind of like that. Right? Is that right? Looks pretty right to me. Not exactly sure how many people are watching. If you're first time... Uh, stopping in to see me, say hello. I love to talk to people. I'll answer any questions that you have about. I'll even I'll even do frog trivia. <laughs> I'll think of some frog trivia and I'll start throwing out frog trivia questions. There we go. His leg is looking. Pretty good right there, I think. And I'm going to give a little dark over here. I know it's not, this isn't specifically a side where there would be a shadow, but I'm going to put a little bit of a shadow over there. It's just going to help to give his leg some roundness. And a little bit of orange here. Looks like there's a little bit of orange underneath that foot. All right, uh, now I'm going to start with some, what do I have here? Sepia. And a little neutral tint. I see things jumping around on my screen. I never know what it is. I always... <laughs> scares me a little bit. What, did, what does it look like? What did I miss? Uh, and this is for me. Let's see, I drew these lines on here and now I can't really see. And this for me is always a little bit of a frightening thing. 
because so much of these spots will really give us a bit of contour on this frog. And if we don't do them right, uh, we could we could kind of <laughs> spoil his whole look. So I'm, I want to kind of do these right. Let's see, he's got another one here. Now I've got these things drawn and I can't even see them now. This one I know. I'll just look at my reference photo. There's black that comes up here. And this is really light. So if I need to blend this out to get some of it off of here, it really isn't that big of a deal because there isn't really that much on here. There we go, a little bit of dark on there. He's got some pattern on this side too. Which I think, how far up over that eye did I draw that? Right about there, which comes up here. Around his eye, kind of flares out a little bit. And then a spot right down here. I don't think that's going to be exactly the same as what is on my reference photo. And I don't think it's going to matter. Actually, he's starting to look nice. Kind of right in here, he's got a some kind of a circle. If I knew how to paint a circle, I would do that. So, CP, I see purple too. Am I wrong? I, it's not purple. You're not wrong, but it's not purple. It's neutral tint. It's it's a little bit of neutral tint which does have a bit of purple in it and sepia mixed together so you're you're right it's is purplish but it's not purple it's it's neutral i don't know why the m gram Uh, a neutral tint is so purplish, but it is. Uh, it's for whatever reason, it's very purplish. Uh, I whoever whoever makes their paint a lot smarter than me <laughs> determined that uh, they needed that much purple in there. I look, I it works. I like it. It's a, it's a, I don't know that it's a true neutral, but it is a color that I like and I, I put it on my palette and I use it all the time. So I can't say too much about it. <laughs> I'm not going to say too much about it. M. Graham, if you're listening, I love your neutral tint. Where's the camera? <laughs> I love your neutral tint. Don't stop. Let's see, I'm going to put uh, put over here, and here's one of these areas where I can really kind of make his foot seem like a foot by not painting onto part where it would be, right? I just paint kind of like to his forearm here and then let his the top of his hand go, and, and I'm not worried about that. He's got some banding or something on his feet here. I'll just give him a little bit of a little bit of something on there. Got a little bit of color over here. We'll just drop something on again. It's not it doesn't have to be you thought so in the photo. Oh, you think the you think the frog has purple on him in the photo. Oh, it could be. I see a lot of orange down here where this is at. I don't know that I see a lot of purple on him, but uh, but I I think it would be totally fine to paint purple on him 
or her. I don't, I don't know if this is a boy frog or a girl frog. I keep saying him. I just, I just don't know. But I, I totally think that if you were to paint something with a, a bit of a purplish tint on him, I think it would be totally fine. I, I don't think anybody would be able to call you out on it. Just put these, just, I'm not even, I kind of know where the, my lines are at here. I'm not really following them. I can kind of see them. I can kind of see some of the lines that I drew, but not all of them. So the fact that I'm not following them totally, I think is fine. I think it's more important that I get a general shape on there than anything else. Let's see, this goes over his knee here, right? And if you can kind of draw this to help the contour of the frog, that probably helps a little bit. You know, where his skin would bend, kind of make your pattern bend as well. I think it's probably really helpful. Let's see, this goes like this. I need to turn this just ever so slightly. There you go. And that little bit right there really helps to push that leg back, give that leg some depth right there. Boy, I picked this picture and I was like, oh, this is going to be great. And now I look at it and I'm like, oh my God, it really is Halloween. <laughs> it's, it's, oh, well, I'm painting it more orange than I thought I would be. I like the color. I look at it, him and he's pretty orange too. There's a lot of orange on him. That's a little bit darker than I really wanted back there. So he's got a little something up here too. Let's give him a, just a little bit of a, a little bit of a spot up there. How many more spots does he have? Does he have any more? He's got one back here. I got a couple more people rolling in. Say hi if you would. If you have any questions, throw them out there. Love, uh, love answering questions. Part of the reason why I do these live streams is because I like watercolors a lot. I love watercolors. They're so expressive in so many different ways. And I want to uh, share my love of watercolors. So uh, if you have any questions about watercolors or painting or anything like that, just just throw the question out there. I am happy to answer whatever I can for you. I'm going to actually paint his eye exactly the same here. I want to do his eye a little bit lighter. Oh, I got his, I got his hand back here too. Uh, uh, a little bit lighter than just black. All right, the rest of him is, is, you know, we're developing the color on the rest of him and it's not there yet. I got another hair. Why do I have so many hairs on my brush tonight? Uh, but I think if we go with a lighter color and then uh, we can go underneath with some darker and we can, we can force his eye to have uh, some depth on its own there too. instead of just that black spot. And then of course, we're gonna put a nice big highlight on there. I'm not leaving a highlight now. I could, I'm not going to. I'm gonna use my uh, either white acrylic or just a gel pen to put that on with. Either one would work just as well as the other.
So he's got some spots over here, maybe something here. This is a good spot. If you paint, if you paint around those toes in a little bit of arc, you can kind of make it seem as though there's some a dimension to his his uh, his feet and his hands here without actually painting any dimension on them. Uh, Jay Marie, love it. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Jay Marie. And thank you for stopping by the stream and, and saying something to me. Joining in. I'm glad you enjoy it. I hope you continue to, to enjoy it. I hope it continues to be good. I have been known to do a few paintings and get about... I don't know, half, three quarters of the way through, and then, uh, and then everything takes a turn for the worst. <laughs> it happens. It happens. Uh, but I think this guy's going to turn out great. I, I just have a feeling we're gonna, we're gonna put some more details on him. He's he's headed in the right direction for us. He's looking really good. Let's see. He's got some. Here, maybe a little bit down on his toes. A little bit here. I don't know, something like that. Something like that. All right, we got a good base on him here. A good bit going. I need to move my screen here a little bit. I can't quite see what's happening with him. Uh, he is a little lighter than I really thought he was going to turn out. Um, my base color over here, right, my first layer, I wanted to be darker. Well, yeah, this, this one looks maybe like our second layer here. So maybe I mixed it up a little, uh, a little bit darker when I, when I did my colors at the beginning. But never mind, that doesn't matter. We're gonna. We're. I'm gonna look at this guy now, and he's he's gonna stay a lot like he is now. We're gonna put a big shadow under him, so he's gonna he's not gonna look like he's floating. So don't worry about that one. But uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start to darken him up just ever so slightly where we need to, and I'm gonna mix in just a tiny bit of this um, burnt umber into my mixture. And that little bit of burnt umber is just going to give us enough color. Uh, it's going to it's going to darken it down just a bit, just enough that it's really going to look like a, a shadow underneath everything. So his eye down here gets a bit of a shadow. A, another little bit. And, and and this is the time that I can draw, I can do a little, draw, I can do a little bit of negative painting right around his eye, so you can get the lower eyelid in there, just by doing this. Uh, you wouldn't want to meet this little frog in person, I wouldn't want to meet this little guy in person. While I was looking at pictures... There are people holding these things on their fingers, and I'm like, how are you doing that? Doesn't, aren't you, I don't know, do you have to be inoculated to the frog or something? How does that work? I wouldn't want to see this guy. I mean, I would. You know, if he was in a, a pet store or something, I'd love to go and see him. He's probably adorable. I mean, probably. I'm painting him. Of course he's adorable. But, um... I think behind the glass would be as close as I want to get to him. <laughs> and no way would I want to see him if I'm walking across the jungle floor somewhere. I, there's no way. There's no way. I'm going to take a moment just to give him a little bit more red up here on his nose. Just a tiny bit. That's going to blend into a little bit of, uh, of that dark that we just put on. But I think he needed just a little bit more over there. I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it lighter back here on the back of his head. But I think he needed just a little bit more in there. Uh, 
and I can just go back in and adjust the value. As long as this stays wet, I have an opportunity to come in and, and change these colors how I see fit. Right, that's the key. That's the key. I gotta, I, especially with this paper, you don't have a lot of time. You see me reach my hand off to the side. I'm just going into my water, rinsing off my brush to make it a clean, dabbing a, a little bit off, and just blending the sides out. If you haven't seen me paint before, I love blending. I, I love uh, blending is so much fun. To take a to take a little bit of uh, paint and just make it go for an inch or two inches, however far I can make that draw out. Uh, to me, that that's a fun thing to do. Just to try to get that to come out. Okay, maybe I'm a little weird about that, but that's okay. Now his arm over here is going to have, it's a little darker over here. He's going to have a little bit of shadow. So I'm taking a little bit of that dark mixture again, and I'm just going to drop that on there. And again, blend it, blend it out a little bit. I got to get, I got to get to it quick. So I don't, so I don't have that hard edge. That's super hard edge. I don't want it. If I get it, we can get rid of it. That's not the end of the world. But um, if I don't have to deal with it, I'd rather not deal with it. All right. Uh, so you can see already, now we now it looks like we've pushed the colors a little bit further. His eye stands out already without doing anything with it. Just a flat color. His eye stands out because of that under lid there. And now his jaw is standing out from in front of the, uh, his arm. So we're getting there. We're, we're developing some bigger colors and again I could have I could have done bigger bolder colors to begin with but I'm trying I'm, I'm really trying to not do too big of colors to not push it too much at the beginning I want to do more layers it's just to gain a little bit more control over what I do and and quite honestly if I put in more thinner layers and I have to go back and do a glaze over top of everything it's so much easier to do a glaze over the top of a thin layer than it is to do a glaze over the top of a thicker heavier layer the thicker layer just reactivates so quickly and then uh, and then what you end up doing is just dragging, dragging that thicker layer through the rest of your paints. And that's no fun. That's no fun for anybody. Doesn't help your painting look better. Doesn't make you feel better about anything. It just kind of is one of those things. And so we're going to, we're just going to avoid that and then not do it. And he's got kind of a, a little spot right here too. That's a little bit darker. So I'm going to just put in that, just dab in a little bit of color here, and then I'm just going to blend that out. <clears throat> and, and we could just do this as much as we want to with this guy. The more we do this, the more uh, he's going to come alive, really. Right there he goes, and now it looks now it looks like there's a little indentation right there. Maybe I don't know. Maybe his shoulder sticks out right there a little bit. I don't know, something like that. I'm just making a story up as we go along. But he's starting to get some dimension. I want to put a little bit, a little bit more dark. Where can I put my hand? Right up here, just, just a little bit right there. All right, I want that. Right in front of his eye, I want it to be a little bit darker. Perfect, perfect. Oh, so good. So good. Where else do we need it to be dark at? Let's see, I'm gonna come right. Oops, I don't want that quinacridone rose in there. Give me this orange. Good color, good color. I'm gonna come right down here. Put in a little more. I'm gonna I'm gonna go right over our spot here too. I, I need to go over that just 
So, why is my, there it goes, why is my burnt umber not activating? I don't like that. That should be one of the easy ones to do. So while, while I'm just going over this, I'm just going to throw it out there. Uh, links down below to uh, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, my webpage is down there. I, uh, links to Etsy are there. I don't think I have anything up on Etsy at the moment. I, I, need, to, I need to put some stuff up there on Etsy, but I don't think I have anything at the moment. Uh, links to the Discord channel. Um, if you if you want to get a a copy of the reference photo, that one right there, uh, that can be found on my Discord channel. And if you want, I put it up before I do my live uh, painting. So if you wanted to paint along, you could totally do that. Um, would be a fun thing to do. And I don't paint at such a fast pace that I'm going to out, outpace you, probably. And in fact, if you're painting along and you ask me, I'd probably even slow down to, <laughs> to match your speed. Uh, let's see. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come back to my darks back here. Uh, there's also, while I'm talking about it, there's also a link there to my Twitch channel. Uh, I used to restream um, at the same time on Twitch and YouTube, and I and I I didn't like it. I don't know what anybody else thought of it. Uh, I got I got fairly tired of it fairly quickly, and so I stopped restreaming uh, here and there at the same time. But uh, I do stream on Twitch. I'll be on Twitch tomorrow morning at, oh, what time am I going to be on tomorrow? I'll be on tomorrow at 11 o'clock East, uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, 11 o'clock Pacific time. I'll be on Twitch painting a, that's a good question, what will I be painting? I'll probably be painting some sort of bird and I'll put... I'll put that up in the Discord tomorrow morning if you want to join me there or or try to paint it on your own. And what else do I have there? There are links to some fun t-shirts down below that I have for sale with uh, taken from some of the, the, the paintings that I have done. Uh, so ones where I thought I could take my paintings and make a, a funny uh, t-shirt out of it. I've done that. So you can find those. Uh, down below also, sometimes it's hard to talk and paint at the same time. I'm trying to concentrate. Uh, it's a little difficult. It's harder sometimes than others. I think I managed to get through most of it. And if you have any questions about anything, you need any help, I, I've always said from the beginning, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to offer whatever help I can to anybody who is learning to paint. I, I got a lot of help from others. Uh, many people I didn't know, some that I did know, as I was learning to paint, and uh, I'm totally willing to pay it back as I go. So uh, feel free to, to drop me an email, send me a message somehow, get it to me, send it here, send it uh, through my website, there's a contact, uh, Discord, however you can find me, and I will answer any questions that you have. What else is what else is there? There, I think there is a a link. 
to the coffee site I have. You can buy me a cup of coffee if you want. Any funds that don't directly go to coffee, I'm going to use to try to take the studio off grid with some windmills, some wind power. Uh, we have a constant wind here where I live, and uh, I, what I want to do is uh, do the project with my son, and we would we would purchase the equipment and put it on top of the studio and run a uh, a grid tie converter in, and all of the energy that we produce while we're not. Um, Putting on a show would, or working here, nonetheless, would go back onto the grid. So that's there if you want that. Uh, and if you don't want to do anything other than watch, I'm totally fine with that too. Right? Sit back, enjoy. And I hope I can paint something that you uh, find enjoyable. <clears throat> All right. Uh, he's looking better with some uh, with some darker colors on him. <clears throat> it's looking a little. It, it looks a little dark. It 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 looks a little dark. But remember, watercolors are gonna lighten up as they dry. So you we're probably not gonna have that stark of a difference here. It's gonna lighten a little bit. I'm banking on it. <laughs> And as soon as I'm done with this black, then we're going to put a nice little shadow underneath underneath this guy and give him uh, give him the something to to sit on or stand on here, so he's not floating in the air. Looks like he's flying kind of right now. I don't want that. And I do, the other thing I always talk about, I do turn my page. I do turn my page. Uh, I never learned to paint by holding my page still. And so I do turn my page. And I don't make any apologies for that. Um, I'm sorry if it's bothersome to some But I'm not so sorry as I'm going to stop because um, that's just how I do it. So I'll apologize for it, but I'm not going to stop doing it. If that makes any sense to anybody. All right, there he goes. He's looking pretty good here. I, I like the way he's, he's looking. He's turning out. I think he's going to look fantastic with a little bit of a shadow underneath him. And uh, let's see how I'm going to do my shadow. I'm going to start with some neutral tint right here. And uh, I'll drop in a little bit of ultramarine in there. And let's see what we can get with a color for that. And that should really purple up. Um, a little bit more neutral tint here. Uh, and I want that just a bit warmer. Uh, so what do I want to put in it? I'm going to put in, I'm going to put a little bit of my sepia in there. I like that color a little bit better. I'm going to water that down just a little bit. Oh, and shadows for me are always tough. Always tough. I don't, I don't particularly enjoy doing shadows, I will admit. Shadows and I don't always get along. We don't. That's okay. I mean, it's totally okay. I don't mind if we don't get along. As long as we can come to some kind of agreement. <laughs> Just that's all I want is some kind of agreement on what we can do here. Come on. You're going to come down here too. Let's see, I know this is going to come down around your knee, and I just want to blend it out. And I 
know he's got some shadow here and in between his toes some over here let me pull this out before it dries it dries so fast so fast all right all right all right and underneath I, I know I've got some some really dark areas underneath here so like this whole area is really pretty dark underneath here that's gonna really help lift him off the page out to there or so and up to about here And then that comes out. And I just gotta pull that out, pull it out. I think I got too cold with that shadow. Too cold. I needed a warmer shadow. But he's getting a shadow. <laughs> he's getting one whether he wants one or not. It's a little lighter in here. Pull this one out. All right, that's okay. This, this toe over here gets a shadow. In addition to doing lighter layers this year, I'm gonna I'm gonna figure out shadows. I'm I'm totally gonna figure them out. They're not gonna flummox me forever. I mean, I know how to do them. I just don't. It's not not what not my favorite thing to do. But he's getting a little shadow on him. I just don't want him floating everywhere. And I don't think he is. We might have to go in and fix a little bit of the shadow in there. That's okay. I think it No, it doesn't come out a little bit more than that. I was thinking it came out this way a little bit more, but... Maybe it doesn't. I like that nice clean look. You paint something, you know, like it looks on an Audubon Society. Hey, fun stuff. Welcome. This is like it looks like an Audubon Society painting, right? Not that I do that quite that style of painting, but yeah, that nice clean white background. Maybe some something there for a little bit of interest but a lot of uh a lot of white and uh and sometimes it works and sometimes it's not so well <laughs> fun stuff long time no see hope you're doing well there we go he's got a bit of a shadow underneath him here I'm going to re-wet this, just pull this out ever so slightly. You know what, I'm going to add a little red in here to warm this up too. Right, there's a little reflected color in there. That's what I was trying to do with that brown, to warm that up just ever so slightly. See, maybe a little bit down here, we can... This is totally dry already, or very nearly dry already. Let's see, it gets a little darker back here too. I'll just drop in some of this color. It goes all the way back. All right, all right. 
my shadows. Nobody's going to judge my shadows, are they? <laughs> Doing okay, great, thanks. Okay, perfect. Good. Good, good to see you back here with me on Wednesday nights. Uh, let's get a little shadow in here too, doesn't he? Let's see, I'm just going to take that. I said I was going to warm it up a little bit. He's got a little shadow in here coming from this foot. So let's give him a little shadow in here. It's almost like a little negative painting when you do it this way. Because if you've missed any of these edges, you can, you can go back up to them with this shadow color and kind of... Uh, kind of redraw the, the 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 in this case that leg a little bit. Actually, back here probably shouldn't have gotten a, that warm color. I mean, there's no red uh, orange back here to reflect off of. Uh, see, I just I don't. Oh, it's not what I want it to look like. I'm gonna do it again. I'll get it right one of these times. <laughs> Probably. All right, let me just take some of this. I think the I think the problem is it's too it's too blue. I think that's what's throwing me off. It needs to be a warmer shadow all the way out. But it's funny if I look at the monitor, it looks okay. All right, I think I'm happy with that. This color pretty much matches this color underneath his belly. It comes up into the area where it needs to be. I'm just just taking back a little bit of this moisture so I don't get a hard edge there. He totally looks like he's uh, <clears throat> like he's on a white sheet or something right now. Oh, I think that shadow really helped. Will I be adding the leaf? I'm not adding the leaf. No, no, no. See, this one is at a pet store. And um, <clears throat> the guy didn't want to touch him, so he just slid a white sheet of paper underneath him and then picked him up. And then I took a picture of him. And here it is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I'm I'm not gonna be, not on this one. I'm not gonna be painting the the leaf in the background. I could have. I that leaf is pretty simple. It's just all green, isn't it? I, I totally could have. Maybe I should have. I'm just gonna add a few more details here and there. Right. Uh, I'm just taking our our shadow color, our dark color here, and he's got some. He's got a little line here on his foot. I'm gonna. Put a little bit of that color there so it so his foot looks like his foot it's a little separated from his leg over here right his two legs have a little bit of separation in them so i'm just going to draw that line on there just ever so slightly so we can see it <laughs> you know uh i had a very slight suggestion of a leaf that's perfect um but <laughs> you, yeah, you know how much I love backgrounds, which is not all that much. <laughs> I I don't, I never have. I don't know. I don't know. It drives my wife nuts. I'll paint something and she'll go, "It looks it looks great." Where's the background? And I go, "What background? It doesn't need a background." Yeah, it needs a background. No, I'm thinking it doesn't. <laughs> She gets all fired up. Well, uh, this is my compromise. It doesn't have a background, but it does have. It does have a. A shadow. So, I think that's a pretty good background or a pretty good compromise. And before we finish this up, uh, a couple of things I want to do. 
I want to I want to put another layer on his eye over here. Right? I really want to really want to darken this down below here. <clears throat> just on the underside of his eye. I hope, I hope you guys can see that. Super dark down there on the bottom half. And I'm not going to do any more on the top. I'm going to do, you know what, I'm going to do a line right at the top here. Just underneath his lid. And I want that middle to stay, uh, stay much lighter. There we go. And what else do we need to do to him? Um, I think, I think, I think his hand here is too light. As I'm looking at the, as I'm looking at him, it's too, it's, it's so much lighter than the rest of them. I'm just going to drop in some color here. And that's going to help a little bit. We're to the stage at this point where we can be a little fiddly. Right? He's got these little lines, these little highlights there that go uh, where his where his fingers are, his bones are. So I'm going to draw those back in. I can be, we can be fiddly here. We can be a little bit whatever we want. Uh, highlights, highlights. I we're going to get to the highlights. I promise you, we're going to do the highlights. We haven't done them yet. We're going to get to them. We will get to the highlights. I'm just looking where, let's see, he's got a little bit of, maybe a little bit of dark here, back here, a little bit darker, and now I do have to paint around his spots a little bit, just a little bit. I don't have to be super cautious about it, but a little bit wouldn't hurt. And if I have a line on the bottom on something round, this is the other thing I don't understand. I have a line on the bottom of something round, I gotta have a line on the top of something round. Or it doesn't really look round. So we'll just drop in a slight little line there. Just the smallest little line. Uh, what do you think? Should I try for the white gouache or acrylic or just use the pen for my highlights? What do you think? I'm going to, I'm going to, let's see, come on, come on, I've got this little dark area here where his arm bends, I, I don't think he really has this on the reference photo, but I want him to have that little dark, a little dark underneath here. This is when this is when you're allowed to be a little fiddly, but we still have to know you want to gouache. Ah, oh. right, well, we'll see what the gouache looks like. All right, gouache. We'll try it. I will try it. And I'm gonna I'm gonna come back into my gray mix here. I'm gonna water it down a little bit further. Gouache, gouache, gouache. Oh, everybody wants gouache. And I'm just going to give a little bit of dark uh, a line, really light. I don't, I'm, I don't even, I'm not even going to blend it out, right? Just on his, uh, um, on his feet, on his toes, just so we can get a little bit of that 3D, all right, all right, all right, okay. I don't know if I can do that on all of them. I can't help myself. I gotta do a little bit. Okay, oh, he's, oh, he's looking good. He looks fantastic. Okay, well, you got, you want white gouache. Okay, so let me, let me get a little tiny brush here. I'll try this one. This is a size Da Vinci size two, and oh, where's my gouache? Here's some gouache. Uh, I don't know what 
Savoir Faire. I don't have any idea. That's probably the real name. It's your. It's my punishment for not doing a background. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh, let's see. Come on, gouache. Come on, out of there. Straight out of the tube. He's got some. Uh, he's got some. He's got a lot of highlights on him, actually. Quite a bit. He's got some that come down here. I'm just going to let this dribble on here. I, 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 I'm not real careful about this at the moment. He's got some on his back here. I want to get it across that black where it really is going to stand out. Dribble across here. I know he's got a whole bunch right up here on the back of his eye. And a little bit here. A little bit here. Let's see if I can get let's see if I can get the highlights on his eye. There, I'm gonna do it like that. That's not exactly what he had. But again, it's okay. I'm not trying to replicate that photo. I do know that these guys are really shiny. So the fact that there's going to be a lot of this gouache on here is totally fine with me. I'm, it really isn't a big deal. I, what I'm worried, though, is that it's just going to thin out a little too much. That's why I'm trying to keep it really thick here. And I'm trying to look to see. Let's give a highlight on a couple of these little dark bits on his hands here, even. How is it looking? Can you guys, can you even see the uh, the gouache that's going on here? You must be able to, right? It's, it's, is he looking shiny? I don't think I got his back quite dark enough. Not quite dark enough. I'm going to give him a little... Oh, I didn't paint his nose. Oh, I totally forgot his nose. Actually, I think the gouache is kind of working here, so good call. All right, let me clean that off for a second. You can see it. Looking good. You, I don't think you can see it in the lighter areas, but I'm sure you can see it on the darker areas. And, and it does make him look a little shiny, that's for sure. Let me get the top back on here for the next time you guys make me do this. And I, and I, I totally, he's got a nostril over here I got to put on him. Uh, let's see. Oh, I do have that drawn on, so I do know that that is right. There's his nostril right there. And I think that's going to about do it for me for this one. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to sign it first, though. Let me put my name on this one. There we go. But I do want to do... Oh, i got to get this back out. I want to give just a little bit of a highlight underneath here. Just on his um, under lid, under here. To make that stand out just a little bit more. Anywhere else I could put a 
a little highlight. I guess that's about it. I think that's about it. Now I got to find the top again. Okay, so that's what I've got for you guys this evening. I hope that everybody who's here really enjoyed that. Thank you for uh, joining me in the studio this evening. Thank you for participating. You made it a wonderful experience. And nicely done. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, like I said, I'll be back here next Wednesday. Uh, Andrea, what did I say? I'm doing insects next week. I'm doing some kind of a beetle next week. So that'll be fun. Maybe like a Hercules beetle or a... Oh, you'll put yours in Discord. Perfect. Thank you. Um, yeah, some kind of a some kind of a big insect next week. That should be a fun one to do. Uh, tomorrow, for anybody who does Twitch, my, my brain's going uh, dead. I will be on Twitch tomorrow at 11 a.m. And I might be back on Twitch. Ooh, early next week too but don't i'm not promising anything i will be back here next wednesday links down below you'll see what i'm doing throughout the week other than that thank you all so much for joining me here we'll see you later thanks bye bye